everyone, and this is the Papa TV tutorial for Indy 500, a 1995 game with design by Dennis Nordman, software from Mike Boone, sounds from Chris Graner, and the voices of Paul Page and Bobby Unser who talk through the car race that happens in uh, the Moore Memorial Day weekend every year in uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. The Indy 500 includes a Turbo Bobby, or that's what uh, we, think the we think it's called, it's actually just called the Turbo in the back to lock balls. Uh, some loops, some ramps, really fast action on this game, three flippers, and as we take you through the strategy on these games, there's some interesting decisions players can make, and also some opportunities for them to cheat the game by using the launch button to earn points when they otherwise wouldn't deserve it. So welcome to Indy 500. There's uh, actually two skill shots on this game. You see the yellow car flashing, that's the left ramp, and the left ramp is the conventional skill shot. There is a second skill shot, which is the right ramp, which will immediately start the round called go for the pole. So uh, as we start here, I'm actually gonna try to hop the ball over and catch it on the left and, and uh, go for that secondary skill shot. Right ramp, starts go for the pole. And go for the pole is a 20 second round with the objective of making four right ramps. This is also an opportunity to cheat the game where you can get credit for one of the right ramps by pushing the launch button instead of actually shooting. You can catch that in whatever you want because really they're not worth anything. So there's 10 million for doing nothing. Hooray. And at bare minimum, so bare minimum, you know, I got 15 million for that. So uh, this game is a fairly traditional mode based game. You light the mode by shooting the left loop and you start the mode by shooting the right ramp. These are called speedway modes. You can also start the mode by shooting the center hole where the green flag is or the little scoop hole in the upper right corner that's near green flag. So if I shoot the shot all the way on the right, I will, you know, brick, but the, the, the real shot, which may eventually occur, is the white loop for the right loop. So things look difficult here, but uh, live catches are obviously really important on a game like this. Bad shot there, but it does feed the upper flipper and puts the ball in the turbo bobby. Uh, two balls in the turbo bobby will start multi-ball and uh, we'll talk about that when it happens. Uh, again, I'm gonna try to get one of these award speedways and here you might conventionally shoot the left ramp. Let's just do that. Left ramp, missed it. Shots around that left loop I give you an opportunity for what's called the loop turbo combo. Shooting the left loop and then using the upper flipper to nail the lock shot. You get a bonus, 10 million plus two million for every additional one. And on this particular Indy, it seems like it's really fast. Uh, so I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but hopefully I'll be able to pull that off at least once or twice during the game. Bounce over is also pretty important and a bounce over is where you just let the ball go. Here I've got a change setup, which is an opportunity to select an award from a list of awards. So you usually pick 20 million or 15 million if it's available, but it also can give you things like light lock or uh, um, light extra ball if you're playing in an arcade. There's the right ramp, and this will give me a chance to start multi-ball. Brick! Nice brick. So here you see the left loop is lit for light speedway that will light the next mode. And the next mode may be turbo boost multi-ball or quick pit. I don't remember which direction it goes. I think it goes this direction, which will be the direction that cars would drive around the track as uh, they're going fast and turning left. So quick pit would be next after shooting the left loop. Or not, fine, dueling drivers, whatever. Oh yeah, the last one was called super light ups. Now super light ups is a mode where the light up targets, those weird square things are worth points, but it's garbage. Yeah, nobody likes the light ups. Well, let's start multi-ball. Whoa, there's the second lock. We're ready for multi-ball, and here we go. If you played scared stiff, you know the multi-ball in this game. Either ramp is worth the jackpot. Yeah, what he said. So you shoot either ramp, like the right ramp, and then after shooting a ramp, only the opposite ramp is now worth jackpot. So there's always one ramp lit for jackpot. But there's one, there is a wrinkle to this. The lock is also lit. A lock will hold a ball and it will increase the jackpot by 10 million. So what I want to do right now is shoot the left ramp and then the lock. And now that ball will be held. Brick the right ramp there, but there's still time. 
that right ramp is worth 10 million more. Gives me a chance to, and there, I, I missed that, but. And you know, if you can get one ball stuck in the lock, you can really make a lot of jackpots from just what would be conventional single ball play. Oh, and there's a drain, that's disappointing. Uh, we get back to the multi-ball, and I hope we do. There'll be an opportunity to uh, talk about some extra feature there. There is a grace period, but it's pretty short, so you gotta get that fast. Uh, we come back to regular play. The left loop lights modes, but also lights the lock. So as you shoot the left loop, and if you can get good at that loop-turbo combo, you can crush. As you can tell, that is not working out for me. It's very, very, very fast. So bad, bad play there. I don't know. The lock is lit. The next mode is called Turbo Boost Multi-Ball, which is the other major multi-ball in the game. There are actually three multi-balls. Uh, we'll talk about Pit Multi-Ball when that comes around. Uh, so shooting the right loop will start Turbo Boost Multi-Ball. And the turbo is the jackpot. The left ramp will add 10 million to the value, and so will the turbo. So ideally here, you want a ball trapped on the left flipper. And the, oh, that should have gone in. What's up with that? And just very disappointing turbo boost multi-ball. It's a huge opportunity to score big points, and uh, it's a brick. What you basically want to do in turbo boost is trap one ball on the left flipper and use the other, the other flipper to alternate shots to the left ramp and the turbo. The left ramp will raise the jackpot and then the turbo shot will score the jackpot. The left ramp is really what you ought to do anytime you want to shoot the lock if it's lit, you, unless you're really locked in on that loop turbo combo for points. So left ramp, lock. Nice, clean, easy shot. Spelling the in-lanes, I-N-D-Y, will light the left ramp for what's called a souvenir. And souvenirs appear to add points to your score. So next time we collect a souvenir, let's watch the score carefully and we'll see what happens. The skill shot is not very much. So the conventional skill shot is valuable, but it's not as valuable as you might suspect. Oh, and that was a nearly a loop turbo combo. Let's let the speedway. Often speedway shots brick out, so be careful. They will come around the loop like that, and if you're not paying attention, you can lose the ball thinking you shot the speedway. So be careful and watch for it to fall in the back hole. Gasoline Alley is a right loop mode. It's, um, if you get locked in on the, the, the loop, you could get uh, big points out of this, but it's not really that valuable except for one award, and we'll point to that. That was disappointing there, that should have gone in. Um, it does brick out of there pretty often. The first loop, the first lock, the first shot is 10 laps. And we want the third shot. And what we got, 10 seconds left? Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. Nah, it's not happening. Second shot, still time? Still got time here, and this quick pit will start multi ball. Actually, what it's going to do is it kick this first ball into the pit, which is that little car in the upper left corner as Gasoline Alley ends. The third Gasoline Alley Award is past 15 cars, I think. Um, pit stop is an opportunity to put a two ball multi ball into play. And I'm gonna show you the best way to start to play this. Yeah, yeah, you're watching it. This is the best way to play this, I swear. Only one jackpot lid, boom, here it comes. Two ball multi ball, woo! Oh, ball drain, sorry. Skillfully draining. So, that was not the best way to play it. So never mind, what I said is totally wrong. But it was, it was the right way to play it up until that last little piece there. So, uh, the idea in pit multi-ball is that the faster you pit, the more jackpots are lit. And they'll light up the four loops, the loops and ramps. Left loop, left ramp, right loop, right ramp. Uh, each shot is worth 10 million plus 2 million per shot. What you ideally want to do is leave yourself with only one shot. That shot is the left loop. And the left loop gives you opportunities to make loop, uh, loop turbo combos during multi-ball. And it also gives you the yellow light there marked pass. Pass is passing cars. And as you can see when you're scrolling through the dot matrix display here, 
There are some things that you collect, such as laps, position, speedway, and light ups. Laps are, laps you collect by pretty much hitting everything in the game. So if I hit a right ramp, it's one lap. And it likes for quick, fast laps, two laps per ramp. I do not recommend actually doing that. There's a loop turbo combo, and that will actually start the multi-ball. We're ready for multi-ball. We're ready for multi-ball. Let's try to do better with this, and I can explain an additional rule that I didn't explain the first multi-ball. Either ramp is worth the jackpot, so if there's a ball saver, it's fairly generous, so you can just kind of get control, get balls out of the way. In this case, I, want to, I wanted to put that ball into the turbo, but instead bricked it. Right ramp is jackpot, and if something else is going on, you want to be careful and keep track of which, uh, which ramp is the jackpot. Oh, I'm missing the turbo shot dramatically. That just slip out, that's bull. Well, the turbo shot has not been very effective for me in the multi-balls or throughout the game, so I apologize for that. Um, I'm going to get back around in the multi-ball. You might say, well, how do I get the third multi-ball? Continue to shoot left loops. It will be an additional left loop for lighting lock. So if you get good at that loop turbo combo, that can become the game. After a certain time also with right ramps or by completing the PIT letters at the very top, you will light the right ramp for pit stop. And we saw a quick pit earlier. So this will be the same multi-ball as we saw before. And right now, I'm actively trying not to do anything. If I lose the ball here, I won't get the multi-ball. I have to shoot the right ramp, and if I shoot the right ramp right now, it'll light all four jackpots. What I really want is I want just the left, left lane available for jackpot, because it will be lit for passing as well, and position, the position I earn in the race, will det can determine a victory lap, if you can get all the way to first place. And it's hard to do that without playing Gasoline Alley successfully. But you can see right there, I got a pass and a loop turbo combo and a new ball plunge. And you just wanna to try to make as many passes as you can. A multi-ball is usually easier when there's one major shot to go for instead of four. So why not lock yourself down onto that one shot? Did again, didn't play it very well, but you can see here overall, so far the game's been pretty effective. Right shot here, gives me hit the wall, it's gonna give me change setup. This is how you play change setup like a boss. You just flip around and uh, don't actually do that. What you wanna do is find a good award and take it. Uh, and this is how you avoid debris, collecting prizes, avoid debris. You wanna get the scores and don't crash into anything. There usually is an arcade play, there's an extra ball in this round, sometimes near the very end, but there can be a lot of points here. There's also a good chance to tell you that points uh, in these modes is collected as bonus, like they are on Indi Indiana, I'm sorry, Indiana Jones and uh, Shadow and several other games. I missed one. Uh, it gets harder, as you can see, it's getting um, a little more difficult to collect and avoid debris. I uh, managed to avoid all the debris, but there was no extra ball available, unfortunately. This is... Whew, good save there. This is trouble. Oh dear. Oh! It's getting a little squirrely. There we go, back under control. And so same kind of pattern. Left lane lights the speedway, right lane collects the speedway. Enough left lanes light the lock. And uh, that was a very poor shot there. Put myself out of control and it couldn't drain because of that poor shot. So a solid first ball there. Uh, we've turned on extra balls in the game to see if perhaps we can get to some of the more advanced features. Uh, it's a good chance to talk about them. There are checkered flags throughout the game. You earn a checkered flag award for completing them. One of them is to complete all of the modes and uh, checkered flag is the last mode. You also get a checkered flag for completing 200 laps, for passing all the cars into first position, or by completing all of the stupid light up rounds. 
Uh, if you get any of these, the victory lap will light up the middle for a collect, and that collect is at least 200 million. Uh, when we get there, if we get there, we'll talk about what else is available from the collect. Uh, so same, we're gonna keep trying to do the same thing. Left lane to light speedway and light lock. With the relatively flat flippers on this game, you can see like, like as you hold up the flippers to, uh, a posi to this position, we basically have them nearly flat. Bounce overs are very common, and a bounce over to start a ball is not a bad idea. I let the next lock, and if I want to go right for multi-ball, what I want to do here eventually is to shoot the left ramp. Since I'm closing in on the checkered flag for modes, I may as well stay after that a little bit. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, I got away with that. Wow. All right. Um, when lock is not lit, you can pass cars in the left orbit. Now, I'm in position 21, so I've got 20 more cars to pass. I'm over halfway through the race in terms of laps, uh, and I believe I'm more than halfway when it comes in terms of uh, the modes. So, yeah, 56% well, of the way there. It gives you some nice information to tell you how close you are to those uh, awards. I just want to get the next lock, so I'm going to shoot the left ramp and then the lock shot. That's one. That's one. Now that shot there, that left ramp said it was worth 45 million points, but I had 897 going into that, and now I have 902. What, what, what is that about? Uh, what that's about is it's a bug in the game that awards the original souvenir value of 5 million instead of the incremental souvenir award. Uh, I'm not sure why that happened, but it's just something to watch out for, that if you're playing the game, you may look at the souvenirs and say, I'm getting a lot of points from these souvenirs, or I should actively go for them. You don't need to. What you do get from souvenirs, though, is you get rewards. So different souvenirs will make it easier for you to complete light-up rounds or super jets or a couple of other features. Uh, and so you do actively want to collect all of them. Besides, one of them is a cow, so you gotta, you got to get that. So there's a case where the bounce over really helped there and it helped me put the ball right into Ward Speedway for dueling drivers. Dueling driver. Like go for the pole, dueling drivers is a mode where I can award myself one of the one of the awards by using the launch button. Now I wouldn't want to do that, I don't want to do that right away. What I want to do is collect the ones, I want to collect the ones I can and then use there's a loop combo for 12 million. I'm taking you down, AJ Foyt. And it looks like we're gonna eventually get another multi-ball here. There we go. That's two. So dueling drivers will continue. I'm probably gonna end up finishing this, but I'll just note that the left ramp is one of the awards I need. So if I can make the left ramp, and I can use the launch, bu the launch button to complete it. And it sure would be nice to make some shot. And you see there, I shot the ball up the middle because what I want to do is put this ball into the lock. Oh, it's a terrible shot there. But stay patient and you get it more opportunities. Now here, I could cradle separate from the left to try and get a jackpot. What I want is the left ramp and a lock shot. Another bad shot, but just relax. There's nothing really going on here except my bad shooting. I completed super jets for a bonus. There we go into the lock. Now I cradle separate. And what I want to do is get the second ball into the lock. Oh, that was a nice bounce there. Now with two locks, if you lock the third ball, Oh, just bad timing there, as I must have put that in there right as the timer was expiring on the first ball. Those are timed locks. So, you know what I did there again is I put the ball up the middle because if you can put the ball to green flag, you park it in the bumpers, and when it comes out of the bumpers, there's only one way out, and that's right to the upper flipper for a lock shot. This is time for a cradle separate. Just play patient, left ramp, lock. Lock, right ramp jackpot, hop over. Left ramp jackpot, lock. Oh, that's a bad shot and a very important miss there because if you can put two balls in the lock when they're two in play, it will launch you a third ball again. 
That is an add a ball. Now right here, I'm going to sacrifice a little bit here by shooting left ramp first because I'm trying to get that lock. Again, bad lock shooting here. Sorry about that, but uh, too bad. You're stuck watching it. Left, right ramp for jackpot. Left ramp, brick. Left ramp for jackpot. Lock. Oh, come on! I'm getting pretty good value out of this, but I'm not trying, I'm actually trying to show you a feature here, but it's not coming. If, you, if I had been able to make those second lock shots, and look at the points went up in a hurry. It was over 400 million for that multi-ball. And um, you can see here, triple play field scoring is ready. That's one of the remaining modes. I actually only have, I think, two modes left. Uh, light extra ball, no, I have wrong turn. So there's three modes left, light extra ball, wrong turn, and triple play field. Um, and I'm gonna try a tactic here, which is I wanna get triple play field last. Uh, if I get triple play field right before checkered flag, I may be able to get checkered flag at triple value because triple play field is three times the play field scoring for 30 seconds. Uh, so shooting the right ramp enough times will advance the mode. And I'm just gonna try to shoot the right ramp several times here. And here you can see me starting pit multi-ball in a way that I would not normally do it. You can see all four jackpots are lit. The left ramp, the left loop, the right ramp, right loop. Each one of them is worth points, but they, they start shutting off. Oh, that was terrible. As you can see, the mode is now switched. It was 3x play field. Now it's moved on to light extra ball. And I can shoot the right loop here to collect modes. Ugh. Accuracy, not exactly perfect here, but it's going pretty well so far in this game overall, which is usually the sure sign that's about to, the ball's about to die. Like the next mode, ideally you get a turbo combo out of it. Oh, and it's back to 3x scoring. I don't want that. I want to shoot the right ramp to change the mode. It's kind of unusual shooting the a ramp to change modes. Um, I don't really know of any other games that do this. But that's what they chose instead of choosing, say, the bumpers. And when you shoot the ramp, you can kind of see that value. Oh, that was a that was a, a, a bad idea all around to try and backhand the right ramp. And it says, what did it say? Advanced speedway at 20. So there it's moved to wrong turn. I've cashed in the wrong turn. And it starts to count down the number of laps you have left, too, before making the, uh, the final... 200, 200 laps you need to complete the race. It's pretty sweet, actually. Uh, so at 50 laps to go, it starts to call out every 10 laps remaining. Move, uh, wrong turn is a frenzy mode where every hole, hole that you shoot increases the value and every target you hit scores that scores a value. It all gets piled in the bonus, so you don't get these points right now. You get these points at the end of your turn. I need to light the next and final speedway. There it is. Triple play field is ready. We'll catch on the left here and let's start. Let's try to start. Let's fail to start. Triple play field. Oh, that was a very, very poor shot there. Grab this with a live catch if I can here. A bad live catch and I'm in trouble. Better live catch back into, re back into play. And another miss. So in the end, you know, Indy 500 is a lot about accurate shooting. You show me pop the ball out from the right or the right side there, completely out of the inlane outlane area, uh, which is an ideal outcome. But you know, if your if your shooting accuracy is poor, you're in trouble on this game. There's a, the third loop turbo combo. The shot is really, really early. Uh, as you go forward, I think it takes like four shots to the left loop to light each lock. So. What I ideally, ideally, ideally want to do is play triple play fields with multi-ball because the triple jackpots are super valuable. I don't know. I, that would be getting greedy here. Um, eh, let's just take the triple play field. So 15 million. Oh, I just settled on the 15 million, but... Oh, come on! Sucks. Oh, at least it was triple. 40 laps to go, and then the light speedway will give me the last piece that I need here. 
It's awesome here to see that triple loop turbo combo. There is the last mode, checkered flag. So now shooting the center shot and I have also earned the correct number of laps to finish this off. Let's get in there, oh that's huge. Get in there. Oh, this would be a really bad thing not to make. There it is. How much is this worth? 600 million points. <laughs> and it's normally worth 200 million, but it's triple play field. That was a bad bounce. I should have been able to save that ball, but uh, just uh, a little bit of a victory lap myself here. Uh, big ball, big bonus. Uh, as we go into ball three, uh, we've finished one of the victory laps. And what you want to do, if you really want to pile on, you try to finish two of the things at once. You can see me at 194 laps. I got six laps to go to finish the race and get 200 laps. At 200 laps, it'll light victory lap again. If you can get two victory laps at the same time, instead of getting 200 million, you get 500 million. So it's more to get two at once than it is to get them separately. Uh, there are even higher values for getting three at once or four at once. I don't know what they are, uh, but it's it's ridiculous. And then, of course, with, with triple play field, you can actually triple those values. So even when victory lap is lit, it doesn't mean you should just take it. You maybe want to think about whether you can do even better than what's there. So this will uh, start a mode, I don't know which. Oh, triple play field again! Well, that's convenient. And the victory lap is ready again as I've meet, ma made it to, uh, to, uh, to 200 laps. So uh, I'm kind of astounded, but we may actually get to see this again. Oh, get in there. Get in your hole. Go. Oh! What are we down to? 10 seconds here? Oh! There it is. And a triple play field, this is 600 freaking million points. If you shoot a shot up the middle that would normally give you a mode that needs to catch on the right or uh, something else, it may give you secret race mode. I, I don't know, quick pit was the one that gives us here and because it can't give you the quick pit multi-ball. It has to do something else. So it lights the quick pit for you, lets you take it. Uh, and we'll go back and we'll do, we'll do this the right way because what I want to try to do is get as many passes as I can. I am in position 20. I still need to pass 19 cars to finish that off. I haven't finished the light-ups. I'm about two-thirds of the way through the light-ups. So during this multi-ball, you could concentrate on the light-ups. You could concentrate on the passing. The passing is nice. What you really need, to, if you want to get number one on the passing, is you need to get three awards out of Gasoline Alley. Now you see, just pass after pass. If you can put a ball on the left flipper and keep it there, which I just realized I had a moment ago and, and turned down. Oh, that's terrible. I guess you'll have to forgive me. All right, where are we at here? If lock is lit for the next multi-ball, I've blown through triple play field, so I'm not gonna get triple out of this. Uh, uh, caution is the uh, video mode with the bris. So we'll play this a second time. You basically go through, but back through all the modes again, and nothing really gets any more difficult. It's all the same stuff. So uh, let's see if I can avoid the debris this time. The uh, if you're interested in buying a shirt for avoiding debris, you can go to bdivision.com. Uh, Kaylee George's uh, website for the Northwest Pinball Championship. He has a number of cool uh, pinball T-shirts on sale there. They're very limited editions. They're very nice. You get the Power Inlane shirt. You get the Void Debris shirt. Some others that are uh, pretty darn funny. And I um, encourage you to go there, pick it up. It's good stuff. Uh, avoid, avoid. You can go over the, the little pit, the um, what looks like, oh, the, you see that one? All it does is kind of make a noise and be, maybe put you out of control a little bit. But it doesn't stop you from being able to do that. Bounce overs and pass overs, very relevant on this game. And if you have a slow moving ball around that loop, that's your opportunity to make a loop combo. This is also very dependent on the particular 
Indy 500 are playing. Here's Gasoline Alley, another chance to pass those cars. So if I can get this, we may see all the victory laps. So you gotta get three of these. Door number one is 10 laps, big whoop. Door number two is, uh, I think it's like 15 million or something. I didn't shoot for the multi-ball there because I'm concentrating on this. So I let the ball fly past the upper flipper and boy, the shooting accuracy has left me on that shot when it's relevant and important. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, that ain't happening. Oh well, too bad. Let's make ramps. Yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, and we'll try to we'll try here to see, but if I got that past 15 cars, I'd be in third place, instead of in 18th place. Close though, you know? Uh, and uh, we may also get into a, a very unique situation here, which uh, I can't think of in any other pinball game. So there's one lock, and there's the second lock, and now this ball's gonna kick back out again. Boom, jackpot 70 million. Let's make the jackpot. Jackpot, 70 million, let's make a jackpot. Oh, just missed the super. So, you know, if the jackpot's 70 million, the super's gotta be at least, well, I don't know. I mean, you would think, right? But turns out that the super is actually worth 60 million because it's a consistent flat super. All right, so left ramp is the jackpot. Let's bounce this over. And the trouble, trouble with those bounce overs, that was a bad catch there on the right. The trouble with those bounce overs is if you hit the ball too hard, you go over the sling and into danger with that second ball. So you really gotta go short uh, and figure out by playing enough of, the, of, enough of that particular game. Uh, this game has been going long enough that I, I have a feel for that. Uh, what you can and can't get away with with those pushes. Here, I'm waiting to get this ball under control, and I don't mind that I have to deal with that and that, that the balls may still be out of control a little bit because what I don't want is I don't want a collision taking both balls out of control and potentially leading to a double drain. I was very lucky there. Now, back to single ball play. Come on, make a ramp. Oh, you son of a... Ah. Well, we're at 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> I guess that's been all right. I don't even know how many loops you need for the next uh, multi-ball, but it's gotta be a lot. It's gotta really be a pain in the ass at this point. All right, so this is the uh, frenzy mode, and that's nice to pick up a extra bonus immediately. Completing pit at the top, lights a multi-ball. This is, an, uh, this is a, a fairly forgettable rule. It actually has, has a fair impact on the game that you just need to collect PIT at the top three shots, and it lights a multi-ball. Ah, oh, that was a bad shot. So that's the end of uh, three balls, I think. Yeah, three balls. Um, we could play on here, I suppose. It's, uh, that's a three ball game worth uh, 3.5 bill. Um, what do you think, play on or stop? Do it. Play on? Go for it. All right, whatever. What else is there? I'm not, stu stupid light ups? Stupid light ups? All right, let's get uh, stupid light ups. Yeah, these red light ups. Yeah, there we go. It's time to start seeing the house balls coming at you. Two more should lock for locks, so it's like five shots. That loop turbo combo is cumulative. If you've played Shadow, you may end up being familiar with the, several of the, the types of rules that are in this game because it was the same programming. Uh, well, some of the same programming anyway. That was a bad play there. Um, but um, let we go for the pole. Yeah, let's go for the pole. That's, the right ramp off the plunge, as we saw at the very beginning of the game. In this case, the right ramp off the plunge gives me the will give me the pit stop multi ball as well. Pit catches the ball. There is a pit stop champ for completing the pit stop fast. In that case, that was what three point some seconds. I don't know what the record is, but I'm not really too worried about that. And you can see that you, you can get more points out of pit stop this way, but if your goal is to pass cars also, you really only want to shoot the left loop. I mean, the, the right, left ramp is worth, yeah, it's, it's nice, it's worth points, but this left loop right now is worth pass a car and potentially get a loop turbo combo. Let's bounce this back over. Pass another car. Make a, oh, that should have been in. 
in your hole. That bed bounced there. So, and if you're going for position, like I am here, uh, it's really not very likely to happen to make position without getting the 15 cars you get from Gasoline Alley. That is a huge, huge award in the scheme of getting to position one. Position one is probably the hardest of the four achievements. Uh, although getting the getting all of those rounds of stupid light ups is also uh, not that not that easy to do simply because the back light up you almost have to go out of your way to hit it's all the way in the back left and in wave five which is the one I'm on right now and this is the end of the game uh, you have to hit that target four times to, to achieve level five I think all of the other levels besides five you can get an award or a souvenir that helps you complete it but. Um, that's um, that was a solid game, <laughs> I guess. And, um, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for supporting Papa TV. If uh, you have questions or comments, please leave them here, and uh, we'll catch up with you next time. Thanks for watching. Pretty good for a first take. <laughs> thanks, kid.